Hello, I'm Katya Jones and this wonderful creature is Crumble, my six years old Chihuahua Shih Tzu Poodle and a very special VI pet. This is VI Pets, where we meet pedigree personalities and their BFFs, busy furry friends. I'm Jessie Ogunagwaki and our pet pals right here, right now, are professional dancer, choreographer and all-round boring star Katya James Hi. and our Chihuahua Shih Tzu Poodle Crumble. Hey. <laughs> I have to say that is a big mouthful <laughs> to say that. It is, there's lots of different variations sort of, of how is. you can say her breed. <laughs> what about Shapucci? I oh, bless you. Do you need a tissue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good actually, I like that. So how long have you named this little one then? Well, I had named before I even had a dog. So when we were looking for one and I saw that little face, I knew this is little Crumbles. How small was she when you first got her? Genuinely, you could fit her on the palm of your hand. That's Aww. how small she was. She was the tiniest little ball of fluff. And what did you think when you first met Crumble? It's true what they say, that they choose you. It's not that you choose them. I, when we saw her, we're like, that's the one, that's Crumble. We've got to have her. We worked really hard uh, from when she was a young puppy mm. to make sure, you know, uh, she's toilet trained and all the little tricks. And I remember when she was young, every two hours throughout the night, we were really? taking turns <laughs> and wake up and take her outside that she knew that, you know, toilet is outside. So she's very good like this now. I did teach her other things as well. Oh, I want to know, what tricks? She can sit, she can lay down, she can roll uh, either side. Crumble, come here. Sit. Good girl, give me a paw. There oh, you are. Down. Okay. And roll, there's not much space, but come on, roll over. Oh, <laughs> so my good girl. Do a little twirl, do a little twirl. Good girl. Oh, good she's girl. a little dancer. Down. And even, look, no. no. Oh, no, you like to say no. Sit, down, good. No, she doesn't touch it if you say no. See, she pulls back. But my wow. favourite, you know, sometimes you just need that extra cash, Jessie. You know what I mean? <laughs> so sometimes if you ask her very nicely. Crumble. Go on, Crumble. Good girl. Thanks, Crumbles. Yay! <laughs> she literally brings you cash. What more could you want? Out of VI Pets, we love to know all about a pet's personal preference. Mm. So I have a question for you. Okay. And for Crumble. Do you think Crumble will prefer a stick or a sock? A stick or a sock? Well, considering think? the size of that <laughs> stick, I'm not sure it will be the stick. I think she'll like the sock, she but see. let's see. Stick or suck, stick, stick or suck, stick or suck, stick or suck. I think it's a I stick. Think she likes stick. I think she likes the stick. Yay! It's a stick. Oh, no. You very kindly filmed a video diary for us. Yes. A doggy vlog. So now we get to see what life is like together with Katya and Crumble. Crumble loves to sleep in bed with me and there's always lots of kisses in the morning. She loves to cuddle into you. Sometimes she pushes you out of your place. Even if the whole bed is empty, she will still want to push you off the spot and be like, nah, this is my place. I always take her to my dance studio whenever I teach. She is so used to it. She's been coming there from when she was a little girl. She's got her little cushion there where she sits and watches me teach. And she loves to interact and mess around with my younger students. Crumb was really, really smart little girl. We taught her to do lots of different tricks from basics like sit and down. She can also roll over. She can dance around and stand up and pivot and do a little twirl. It's one of my favorites is when you just sort of point at her and you go bang and she pretends to be dead. <laughs> I love that actually. Crumble doesn't really think she's a dog. She doesn't really like to hang out with other dogs. She thinks she's a human. <laughs> so after a very busy schedule of, you know, going to the dance studio, going for walks, she likes to just chill and do absolutely nothing. But don't we all like that? Crumble is a combination of three small dogs, the Chihuahua, Shih Tzu and Poodle. Big or small, all domestic dogs in the world today can be linked to the grey wolf. But 
In dogs with small body sizes, scientists have matched one single gene called IGF-1. Big dogs don't have this gene, and neither do wolves. This shows that the gene for a small body size came after dogs were first tamed and kept as pets. Instead of adapting for survival in the wild, domestic dogs were bred for jobs that humans needed them to do. And small dogs were perfect for things like hunting in small places, or even just for being good companions. Sometimes we want a smaller dog that can fit comfortably on a lap. Nowadays, the popularity of small dogs has increased for loads of reasons, from city living and smaller apartments, to being more affordable to feed and take to the vets. One thing's for sure, small dogs like Crumble are very cute and very cool. Now we find out what Katya thinks her dog has to say about her, all in the time that it takes Katya to draw her best portrait of Crumble. Not very good drawing <laughs> skills, but luckily Crumble just has lots of black hair, so I guess it's just going to be lots of black scribbles all I'm over it. I'm excited to see that. <laughs> and Crumble, how are you feeling? I'm very excited because my mum is not a very good drawer, but it's going to be hilarious anyhow. Amazing. Well, it's time for the VI Pet Portrait. Crumble, how did you feel when you saw Katya for the first time? I'm not sure I remember that. I was so small and my mummy was looking very pretty, I think. Uh, but she wanted to take me home and I wanted to come with them immediately. And what is your favourite thing about living with Katya? Oh, we do lots of dancing, you see. <laughs> I come to the studio and I watch my mummy dance. And do you love to dance? I do. Mummy taught me how to dance. I do a little twirl. And I can do a rollover. I don't know if that counts as a dance move. Oh, I think it does. Street dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm great at that. I'm dancing <laughs> on streets. What's your favourite thing to do outside other than dance? I like to chase birds. I could never catch them. Yeah, I'm going to look for some now. And what's the worst thing about living with a dancer? The worst thing living with dance, unfortunately, is they do lots of rehearsals because they dance so much Aww. that they leave me behind. And do you miss them? I miss them so much. I think about them every day in my dreams. Uh, of course, food first and then them. Crumbles, come here. Come here. Crumble here. Up you get. Come on. Here. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can do it. Do it! It's very yeah. inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, here. Come on, up you go. Good girl. Hey. There you go. How's your portrait going, Katia? I think it's actually really good. I've just been doing lots of hairs. Hairs? Well, just one more question then okay. for you, Crumble. I can't wait for you to ask me. Please, Jessie, ask me. What is something really important that you would like to say to Katia? I'd like to say, Mummy, thank you so much for finding me. I know it's not easy living a distance a lot, but I always look forward to see you. Oh, well, that's lovely. Katia, how are you getting on? Quite happy about it. Crumble, look at me. Let's have a... Oh, I forgot the mouth! I forgot the mouth! Forgot the mouth. <laughs> okay, do it quickly. Got each cut. Okay, how long have I got? Do it got? quickly. No, no. Okay, a few You've seconds. You've got the mouth, Crumble. <laughs> it's time to reveal the VI Pets portrait. Ta-da! <laughs> It does oh, look like a <laughs> Oh, I got a round of applause! Oh, oh that's my goodness! Right. I think that's sensational. That's pretty good. I told you it's going to be easy. And the mouth gives it just a little bit of happiness. I don't know. It, it looks like what's the from Star Wars? The hairy creature. Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. It? <laughs> Can you talk us through what you've done here? So I've drawn loads of hairs because sometimes it's quite hard to actually see where's the front and where's the back of Crumble. <laughs> like you can't tell whether it's the bum or the face. It's just <laughs> lots of black hairs. So that was easy. Her little black eyes, but really friendly. I, I think, think it's she, amazing. I think I've done really well. Crumble, how do you feel? I love it. I think Mummy's done really well, Jessie. Don't you think so? Oh, I think she's done amazingly, actually. I'm glad she's giving me a mouth, otherwise I wouldn't be able to talk like I do right now. <laughs> oh, it's been such a big pleasure meeting you today, Crumble. And thank you so much for inviting Katia along too. Oh, I'm very happy here. I might stay. I think this throne really suits me. I think so too. The Queen of Little Dogs. Woof. And thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to check out loads more VI Pets and all our other videos on the BBC Earth Kids channel.